What's up, everybody? This is Rachel talking with Shani. Hi, hi. Welcome to Talking with Shani. Today's word is don't drop the mic. This was an assignment. I'm on Sunday, but I was under the weather, so I'm going to give it to you all. Hope all is well. Welcome, welcome, welcome on this channel. And welcome, welcome again to my shiny foods, my oldies but goodies. Don't forget to give me that thumbs up. Don't forget to like. And don't forget to tell somebody, anybody, everybody about this channel. So today's word would have been on Sunday. Word was don't drop the mic. And so this is what I came up with. A mic is something that makes sounds and give volume. The words that comes to me when I think about don't drop the mic is don't give up, don't quit, don't be discouraged, a fear, a condition. And let me see. Um, what else? What else? Don't quit. Take a stand. And encouraging words also for don't drop the mic is stand, be encouraged, and don't give up. Our scripture will be Philippians 1 and 6 will be being confident of this, that he which have began a good work will, he that began a good work in you will perform it until the day that he comes. And so I just want to give a little bit of words of encouraging. Don't drop to mic, like I said. Um, you can do damage in a mic. The devil know. The devil come for three reasons. So always remember he come to rob, kill, and destroy. The devil knows he if he can get you to shut your mouth, he got you. And a mouth speaks into the mic. And the mic gives volume as though a speaker that's why he tries to use who he can and whatever he can to distract us to drop the mic look at somebody and say don't drop the mic amen and so if he can cause you to lose focus he can cause you to drop the mic if he can distract you he can drop the mic if he can, a lot of times we get nervous. That's why a lot of times we drop the mic. That is a condition that is called distraction. And that is a little bit about fear. Um, a lot of times, I know I, with me, I know when I first, our, our first lady asks us, sometimes I get nervous. And sometimes I feel like I don't want to do it. But it's, it's not that I don't have the heart to do it. It's just the fear. Amen. And do, how many of you know that God has not given us the spirit of fear, but love, power, and of a sound mind? Amen. And so don't drop the mic. And so he will cause us to get nervous and you'll drop the mic. He'll use people to give allegations, which will cause a distraction that will cause you to drop the mic or not take the mic. He will get you to fumble. Amen. Then there's all type of things that will make us fumble the mic. Amen. And so if he can get you to fumble the mic and look at your neighbor and say, don't drop the mic, don't drop the mic. Um... Even if people lie, scandalize your name. Think about what Jesus had to go through. And when they scandalized his name, it didn't cause him to stop doing what he did and stop hanging on that cross. Amen. Because if he allowed the distraction, it was for it was written for him to die. Amen. He was wounded for our transgression and bruised for our iniquity. And think about if he wouldn't have went through. Amen. Follow through what he was. was I'm sorry. <laughs> if he wouldn't have followed through. Think about if he wouldn't have followed through what he was supposed to, amen, we wouldn't be saved, amen. And so thank God for Jesus, God giving his only begotten son for us, amen. Don't drop the mic. I'm not just giving you things that can cause you to drop the mic. In order to stand, you have to learn how to pray for yourself. And a lot of times I want to, again, don't drop the mic. Um, words of encouragement is don't give up, don't be discouraged. Um, learn how to pray for yourself when you know you got weaknesses or anything that you're going through um, that will cause you to drop the mic you have to learn how to pray for yourself you have to learn how to fast you have to learn how to meditate you have to learn how what the Bible tells us to put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy that is Galatians that is Galatians 6 11 through 8 then we have to learn how to lay aside every weight learn how to put things that's um hold on you guys hey, hey, hey I'm back I'm sorry you guys um again like I said we have to learn how to lay aside every weight um that easily beset us and that is coming from Hebrews 12 and 1 and you might say a weight will cause you to drop a mic 
turn around and say, don't drop the mic. Um, what I mean by weight is like situations, circumstances, um, problems with people, hindrance, um, unforgiveness, things could cause us to drop the mic. I'm having an art with your brother, um, feeling some type of way against somebody. Amen. That's a weight. And that's why the Bible tells us, amen. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. I am talking with Shani. That is T-A-L-K-I-N-G. That is talking with Shani on YouTube and on Facebook. I can be followed at Shani Johnson. Shani. Amen. And so we just need to know. That things like that can cause you to drop a mic or cause you to fumble a mic. Because sometimes what happens is sometimes we can pick up the mic and we can know our call. Many are called, but few are chosen. Sometimes we could um, have the mic in our hand because we, we can do this and because we can. And a lot of times we got the mic and then we'll start to fumble the mic and get nervous and jitters. Like I said, it can be the situations and hindrances. Amen. Hindrance can cause us to drop a mic, fumble a mic. Amen. Don't drop the mic. These are just encouraging scriptures. If you want to take time to read and study yourself, you can. Um, Joshua 1 and 9 says, have not. I commanded you be strong, be encouraged. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Discourage for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And so again, that nervousness, because the Bible also tells us God have been given us the spirit of fear, but love and, and empower and of a sound mind. I am nervous now, but I know that I didn't do it on Sunday, so it's not. I know somebody needs to hear the word. Amen. Somebody didn't go to church. Amen. And so again, the message is dropped a mic and it was inspired. It is inspired and encouraged by our first lady. And so I take no credit for anything, but what I wrote. Amen. I wrote this. Amen. And so you can follow my church on any social media that is Holy Hill Kojic. And so another encouraging word would be. Matthews 10 and 22, you will be hated. And so a lot of times we be afraid to show who we are or we go through a lot of things and we don't want under, understand why and it's not your fault. Um, Matthews 10 and 22 says you will be hated by all because of my name's sake. Amen. So when you accept Jesus, don't think you're going to fit in or don't try to fit in. Don't think you're going to be like because somebody going to have a problem with you. Amen. So if they had a problem with Jesus, they're going to have a problem with you, you and me. Amen. So don't try to get in. Amen. Where you fit in because you're never going to fit in. Amen. Well, he said in his word, we are pilgrims. We are peculiar people. We are his chosen. We're like ambassadors. Amen. And so it says, Matthew 10 and 22 says, you will be hated by all because of my name's sake. But it is the one who has endured to the end who will be saved. Amen. And so again, be encouraged. Don't drop the mic. Another encouraging scripture is Matthew 24 and 13. But the one who endured to the end will be saved. Luke's 21 and 19. By your endurance, you will gain your lives. Amen. And so a lot of times I feel my help. A lot of times we just need to know. Amen. When you got God, you will never, you will never lose. Amen. You gain eternal life. You chose this day. That's why he says choose this day i'm sorry who are we gonna serve a lot of times we don't we in between ain't no in between luke hot or cold lukewarm i'm gonna spew you out i'd rather have you hot or cold amen ain't no in between nothing ain't no in between and a lot of times we like straddle in the fence and we know what we be doing wrong. Amen. This is not a perfect walk. Amen. But at the same time, daily, again, remember what I said. You have to pray for yourself. Anything you got going on weakness, pray for yourself. He said, if you resist the devil, he'll feed. Amen. Don't drop the mic. Again, sec, we still talking about don't drop that mic. Second Timothy 4 and 5. But you, you be sober in all things. Endure. See what I'm saying? That endurance, that's a good word. So that's our word on tonight. I, 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 I word, stick, okay? Focus word is endure. Amen. You, you can do anything. Amen. You can endure whatever. Amen. God will never put them on this. Then we can bear. Again, 2 Timothy 4 and 5. But you, you be sober in all things endure. Hardship. So what is hardship? Hardship is whatever we go through in life, trial, tribulation, whatever. 
you can endure it. Amen. So I want to encourage you and let you know you can make it. You can do it, my brother and my sister. You can do it, my shiny poos. You can do it. Amen. Work as an evangelist. Fulfill your ministry to, to the end. James 1 and 4 says, A, and let endurance have its perfect result. Amen. It's perfect results so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Ah, yeah. Again, I'm, let me read it. James 1 and 4 says, let, I'm sorry, let endurance have its perfect result so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Ain't no lackness in God. Amen. He who started a good thing, amen, he who started something in you, he will complete. Amen. Turn around and tell somebody, don't drop the mic. Be, don't be afraid. Don't be nervous. Amen. Ask God again, what I say, pray and ask God to help you in that area. Amen. I'm nervous now, but baby, when the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit take over, baby, ain't no nerve, no shaking, no nothing. Amen. And then James 1 and 3 says, knowing that the testing of your faith, what I say, Trials and tribulation work it patient. Amen. Produces endurance. Let me say that again. James 1 and 3, knowing that the testing of your faith produces, mm, it produces endurance. Amen. It gives you endurance. Amen. And don't drop the mic. 2 Timothy 4 and 7. I have fought the good fight. Come on, Paul. I have fought the good fight. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. And then another scripture says, for the race is not given to the swift, nor the strong, but the one who endureth to the end. Amen. And that's all I have for y'all on today. Again, don't drop the mic. Amen. Do not drop the mic. This is something that I didn't do on Sunday, and I feel incomplete for not finishing what, amen, what did I just say? God will Finish a good work in you what he has started. He's going to finish it. And so I pray and by the sound of my voice to that person that's listening that feel like they don't have that confidence. You don't have to be like the next person. Never compare yourself. Baby, use what you have. Use what you have and God will bless you. Just, just embrace. Use it. Amen. Use what you have. Amen. And God will give you the words to say. Amen. And those are encouraging scriptures. Amen. For you all on today. That's all what I have on you. Take a stand. Be still and know that God. Come on. Salvation comes from God. Be still. And know that I am God. No matter what you go through. Amen. Hold on. I'm back. I'm sorry, y'all. I thought I was finished, but I'm not. Um, also, he knows that the enemy knows that if he can drop the mic, if you can drop the mic, you can bring forth singing. You can bring forth deliverance. You can bring forth a praise. You can bring forth healing. Amen. And the mic gives the sound. And the Bible tells us how can you hear without a preacher? And so that's why the enemy by Shia, the enemy try to close our ears. The Bible say he who have an ear let him hear what the spirit is saying. Amen. And so I pray and hope that I've said something to encourage you again. Remember tip number one, when you're going through something and you feel like you can't make it, pray, pray for yourself fast. You will last. If you fast, go off to yourself and, and lay out prostrate before the Lord as, as the old people would do old people in the, in the Bible back in the days. Amen. You know, like Jesus did, he went off to himself and he didn't understand that assignment and got a little weary for him. What did he do? He went off to himself and he asked the disciples, can y'all just pray with me? When he come back, who was praying with him? He was all alone. Amen. If he, he would have relied on those disciples, child, please, if he would have relied on them, Baby, he wouldn't have been able to endure that. God would never leave nor forsake you. And he knew the father knew the son will be able to handle all of that. For it was written for him to be a man prosecuted for his name. So, uh, you know, it was meant for him to go through. Amen. And so don't drop the mic. You may fumble. Pick that mic up. Hold on tight to that mic. Embrace Amen. What God has given you. Embrace. Study that word. Amen. The study to show thyself approved. Amen. And so also Ecclesiastes 9 and 11. I returned and saw under the sun that he that the race is not again. What I just said, the race is not given 
to the race is not given to the swift, nor to the to the battle, to the want, to the strong, neither to neither yet the bread unto the wise, not to the yet to the rich, to the man or understanding, nor to yet the favor, but to men that still that's that's still of still, but time and chance happen unto them all. Again, the race is not given to the swift nor the strong, but to the one who can endure it to the end. And you can endure to the end. And Galatians 6 and 9 says, And let us not be weary in well doing, for we shall reap in season if we faint not. So a lot of times, trials and tribulations, I'm led to say, Don't give up. Don't throw in a towel. Even if you got some hard head children out there. Because, baby, even if you got somebody talking about you like a triple D O G, and some of the men's in the Bible that went through, look what Paul went through. He had to stand on his faith. Amen. Paul stood on that faith, but Paul did not drop that mic. Paul, they, they, Paul was on a mission, and they locked Paul up. But I do believe Paul, the Bible said, Paul then was praying. And he told Rhoda to deliver the message because she didn't like what was taking place. And it's always had somebody that got your back. Amen. That Rhoda. Amen. Rhoda, the story of Paul being locked up in the prison. Look that up. Amen. And, and I'm just giving you some examples. That didn't drop the mic. Paul stood there. And baby, at midnight, baby, when the saints began to pray, prayer does change this thing. You had Daniel that was locked up in the lion's den. And what God do? Open up the mouth. He had to come in. He couldn't swallow him. Amen. Look what happened to Jonas. Amen. In the well, when God has an assignment on your life. Amen. And and, and Josh, I mean, and, and, and Jonah didn't really know. Amen. And Jonah was hard-headed. But when Jonah got the cue, God made the, the, the well spirit. Spit him up, up out his mouth. Then Joseph was trying, the, the lady tried to set Joseph up. Pharaoh's daughter tried to set Joseph up. Joseph ran for his life from temptation. Don't tell me what. If you resist temptation in the fleet and try to come back on him. But listen, he did not drop the mic. He understood the assignment God told him. Amen. And so God just wants us to be like the tree in closing conclusion of the whole matter. God just wants us to be like the tree that planted by the waters. I shall not be moved. Even if a storm come, even when confusion is around you, even when people are talking about you like a dog, even when you're being lied on, even when it seemed like I just can't make it, even when your kids, children are not listening to you and they coming against you. Amen. Do not drop the mic. Be encouraged. And dropping the mic is giving up. Amen. That's all it is. Giving up. Amen. Do not give up. I, I, I And I thank God. Amen. I thank God. Don't let them shut your mouth. God bless y'all until we meet again. Don't forget to pray for somebody, anybody, anyone. Don't forget to uplift, strengthen, and motivate. And always give hope for tomorrow. Again, thank y'all. I love y'all. Um, I got a little song I'm going to sing. Pass me not, O oh gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. This is for all those that feel like God is passing them by and think like he's not there. I'm crying, Savior, Savior. Hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. It seems like God ain't listening. He ain't hearing you. We're crying, save, yeah, save me. Hear my um, bold cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. For all those who don't know Jesus right now, all you have to do is close your eyes and repeat after me. Dear Heavenly Father, which are in heaven, here I am, to, here I am God, giving you my all.
God, I stand before you and ask you to forgive me for anything that I might have said or done that was not like you. I ask that you will come into my life. Save me, God. I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus died and rose again and you shall be saved. And if that be you out there, you can be saved too. God don't love me no more than he love you. He love you just as well as he love anybody else. Amen. I don't care how long they've been in the church. God loves you. He has more room for the kingdom, my brothers and my sister. Peace. Love you. Bye-bye.